Hey, hello, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching your Technical Spark channel. Friends, in uh, Sophos XDR Endpoint Protection Series, today I am going to talk about the DLP. DLP is a feature which is available in to the Sophos Central Console for the Endpoint Protection and in this particular video, we will see how effective this particular feature is and how exactly you can use this particular feature in your organization step by step. But before we start, one small intro video. Hey, welcome back guys. Now let me open my Sopo Central console and as you know that we need to go to the endpoints, right? Because this particular things which we are directly creating for the endpoint protection. Okay. Uh, and if you guys remember that today morning we have done couple of you know use cases and all logs is available here all through. It's taking little bit of time to populate the data, but yeah, that's fine. Now let's go to the policies. Under policies, uh, this thing we have already covered threat protection, peripheral control as well as application control. And now we are configuring the very fourth policy that is DLP that stands data loss prevention. And as you know, by looking at my previous video that since this is a default policy, so we don't have any control here because when no policy is in enforce, this by default default policy you know take the place and whatever the settings configured here gets applied so since right now we cannot apply this policy to anyone what i'm going to do let's click on duplicate and instead of clone i will just give the dlp and now again it's completely depends on you how where exactly you would like to apply the policy user base or device base so for this particular video we'll again go with the device base if you need more information and how exactly uh, what is the role of this user and device you can check out my first video in the for the policy configuration where i have explained everything in detail now let's select the system so where we are going to apply the policy so tsw11 is the same system uh, where i have opened my console okay so you can also go with the group also but uh, yeah now we'll do that later but prior to that let me activate the policy because un until unless you are do not going to activate the policy is not going to function okay As, or it will not apply the computer which we have selected in the first steps so policy is activate now now let's go to the settings and prior to that let me just save this okay so that our newly created policy is saved and it's the status is showing active but right now even through is applied to one computer is not going to make any sense why because when i go to the settings okay there is nothing is configured okay so to enable this configuration we have to first enable this use rules for data transfer okay then only you will be able to configure the policies now here is a catch okay so there is a two way you can create the policy one is you can use default sopos template and second one is you can create your custom policies so we'll see both the options how exactly it can be configured now when you go to the regions you will see kind of almost six regions australia canada germany spain uk and usa so based on your company requirement okay or the uh, the logic which for which you want to apply the policy if uh, these things are falling you can choose uh, the appropriate option so just for the testing purpose i'll choose usa now in USA, what are the options we are getting is a template, general organization activities, health and social care activities, finance and share trading activities. Now, similarly, if I go to the, let's say Germany, what are the option we are getting organization, uh, general organization activities. Similarly, let's check out Australia. In Australia, again, we have the same for the Australia, right? General organization activity, Australia, Spain it's again same so since we are getting multiple option in the usa we'll select that okay and after that what exactly you would like to create so basis on your requirement you can choose the templates whether it's a general organization health and social care activities or finance and share trading activities so let's select finance and share okay once you select this then you will have to click on create from template and as soon as you click on next you can whatever description you want you can provide it here okay then these are the rules which is got auto populate now uh, being an administrator it's your job to apply only the required rules and rest of the rules you can remove so there is a cross mark available okay and how is that it can be reviewed reviewed that is also i'll tell you now the second one is message for end user so let's say 
uh, when the DLP policy violation detected on the end user, how exactly you would like to, uh, to warn user? So right now by default these things are disabled because as a DLP we monitor things very silently and once we have the pr a proper evidence then only we go back to user hey why you try to you know share this data or leak this data from your machine so these things happens right so there is a two way when the user is sharing message so it will warn user or you can you can say ask user to confirm the second one is it straight away block and then populate the message but right now what we'll do we'll just enable this message when the file transfer is blocked okay and this this settings which i'm talking about this will be called in these rules okay because every rule works differently so just for the testing purpose what i'll do uh, i'll just select a uh, few rules so let's say contact details uh, we'll just keep a credit card information is also fine we'll just remove the unnecessary things okay so yeah mm -hmm. i guess this much of information is enough so we have total three rules available now bank and card accounts which is usa recommended uh credit card magnet detector i guess that is also i can remove contact details so i have now i have total two rules okay but before that let me just click on save so that we won't lose our uh configuration which we have done so far and i have reopened that dlp settings policy and since we have two rules now what i'll do i'll just simply click on the first rule okay then the actual picture will be displayed so this is the name if you want you can modify because we have used template right description again if you want you can modify now whenever this particular policy violates do you need email address if yes you can enable that okay and whenever you need any clarification you can always move your mouse to the i button and you will get the descriptive information okay so i'll just you know dis keep this thing disabled now condition where the file contains where the destination is okay so this will be configured in the next screen if you want to exclude anything then that is also can be done okay and then actions so right now i'll just select block now let's go to the next rule configuration okay and here are some destinations okay so where exactly this rule will be applied so right now what i'll do uh, I'll just go and email client I'm not going to use okay so instant messaging also I'll not use voiceover that is also fine storage in storage what exactly they have floppy optical removal storage okay so we'll just enable these two things and if required we'll connect our pen drive as well so right now I have selected here removal storage okay you, you can see here and uh, in the internet browser external processes adobe flash okay i guess this is also we don't require or we'll just keep it instant messaging what we have microsoft okay so none of the things we are going to use here so i'll just deselect because this is just for the testing purpose i'm you know creating this rule now in the internet browser it has lots of browser available guys right so we are good with this mostly we try to uh, uh, violate the policy using internet browser so in the destination i am good now what file should contains so let's click on here and you can see in this particular rule, uh, rule aadhar number uh, abha number okay india india you know these are the you know bank and credit card information so many things are available so these are the default rule uh, available guys now we have to just check out what exactly the things are selected so bank and uh, card account number okay this is being selected so what we will do here we will select here aadhar number okay so one two things we have selected now once we are done with this uh, then we have to save this right so let's click on finish so that this particular rule will get saved what is the name of this rule finance and share trading activities okay so let me click on save perfect and i'll remove the second one okay so we are good so in one policy we have added bank account and other numbers right so or just let me just change the name of this policy let's validate validate the same thing again other number and bank account perfect go back and bank and other number okay so these two things i have selected now let's click on finish that's it and we'll click on save so our policy has been saved guys right bank and other number now what we'll do 
will again go to the settings and this time we'll try to create one fresh policy right so here we have to click on add add existing rule add new content rule add a new file rule so when you click on add existing rule is a kind of you know, same type of templates which you, you will get here right the way we have selected this one so we are not interested in that so let's click on cancel again i'll open the policy settings and let's click on add and here uh, we'll, we are going to choose the second one new content rule so let's select that the second option let's give the name like pan card we have got the details uh, description again whatever you want you can enter it here how exactly you would like to behave this policy so for exclusion i'm not going to pick keep anything here right now and the action will be block let's click on next okay we need to give some description that is mandatory uh let's test rule as much of description is enough next perfect what is the destination so destination i'll just keep internet uh, browser okay everything is selected here right uh storage we'll just leave it right now and file contents so what data to be monitored so let's search, try to search for the pan number in japan we are looking for india permanent account number pan we are done now let's click on finish so our rule has been configured and i'm going to save this okay the file has been saved successfully uh, and now let's update the policy on the user system that is my machine itself all through it will automatically update as soon as you know uh, we sync the policy okay guys so my policy has been configured and by now our rule has also been up to date right now what i'll do uh we'll, right so far how many decisions do we have done control device malware right now now guys we'll try to just add one of the you know uh, try to violate the policy so what i'll do i'll simply go to the dlp test the reason i'm using this particular website is guys you know uh, it's able to save the you know it doesn't save the data as you could see as written here this test page is set to simulate a post request without saving any data okay so let's click on this particular link and what i have all the three you know sample files but let's choose one of the this see suppose endpoint agent transfer to a file that was blocked let's click on this see it was completely blocked right now let's close this and okay it will take some time for this particular agent to upload the data to the suppose server but if you want you know you know a little bit of faster response you can always do a you know uh, update so that it will you know get uh, sync with the server very immediately so our execution is very much successful guys and in a some time we'll receive the data on our console so you simply have to go to the reports and here when you click on dlp you will see the logs oh great we already received the logs right let's so this is particularly early you know detected on my machine pan card because we have uploaded the file called p card so in yeah the file name is also present here right p card say this particular particular file we have blocked now guys one thing uh, because so there are two ways you can configure the policies okay so let me go to, again back to the policies and try to you know simplify the things so when i open the dlp okay let's go to the settings so when you create rules right we have a couple of options here so there is a one thing because sometimes people or user face you know very challenging that instead of creating here can we just create such type of rules uh, as a predefined and then later on which we, we can just call here from let's say you know add existing rules something like that so yeah so that is also very much possible for that uh, you guys simply have to go to the settings okay in settings uh, just okay there is one option called rules and content control list so let me go to the rules here so here all the rules are present okay so how many default rules are present here let me just check here okay it's the browser i guess the compatibility issue anyways so what exactly you can do here you can uh, if you already have another suppose control okay uh, that from that suppose uh, central you can just export certain rules and import it here okay otherwise just simply click on create new rule okay 
how exactly you would like to create new rule based on the content or file types so let's uh, select the content let's give the name like abc description efgh okay so this is just a description uh okay where exactly this applies to this is fine uh whether you want to allow file transfer user user confirm or block so let's select user confirm and then click on next what exactly where exactly you would like to apply so let's say i'm going to apply everywhere perfect so we have selected all the destinations now uh, the another thing is file what should that file contains so here are again couple of new things are available okay so let's say i'm going to uh, monitor bank account and card numbers it's a for india okay all through here you, you have multiple countries available okay guys so this is which you can choose which is while creating the predefined rule this data was not available right but when you go to the in this particular rule section you have lots of options so all the india related you know uh, data has been visible which you can use at the end it uses regex okay once this is done then you can click on finish so we are done now similarly if i again go back to, and then guys see here this abc rule is available okay now similarly if i again go to the settings and then uh, here we have another option called content control list so similarly the way we are choosing you know uh, the in other kind numbers from here so this type of things you can make it from by clicking on add custom control list okay now here you can give any name like let's say a a b b c c and you can give here anything tax what are the tax you would like to this particular rule uh, you know data which you are creating that should fall in so let's say i'm just selecting healthcare okay matching criteria uh, so whatever the conditions or the content we will mention is any of this has to be matched all of these or exactly the phrase okay so i'll just select any of these terms now terms what are the terms so here you will have to enter the data actual things okay it could be your regex it could be your let's say you know uh, value so i'll just mention here like shop okay it's just a random thing i'm just giving okay click on add similarly store this is just for your information guys okay i'm adding and just click on save now our rule a a b b and cc has been saved now when i go to the policies okay and i want to incorporate that rule i'll simply go to the base policy and under the settings in settings what i'll do i'll simply click on add add existing rule okay so here how is it like an add i simply have to call out this abc and i'm done see my this rule has been added now let's say uh, in here my existing rule right pan card so if i go to the pan card and i would like to select additional things so i'll simply click on next I file contents and you can see guys the a a b b c c the rule which we have created it is now available for selection correct so select that and click on finish so it's very simple guys the only thing is how you understood the dlp rule configuration and how you effectively work so that is completely dependent on you so in this particular video we have seen how exactly you can create the rule using template as well as custom rule then how exactly we can create the rules and content list and then we have tested in our system using the dlp test website and same log is available in our this reports tab right so the procedure is very simple it's completely uh, just try to understand the things and execute by yourself and as always if you found this video useful then please click on the like button and don't forget to share and subscribe click on the bell icon so that you will never miss my future video notifications and in next video we'll explore web control so guys that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye